guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a video that I am actually kind of excited about. I was excited to find out that Key, Australia, and Crispy were teaming up. So I'm obsessed with their sunglasses. You guys have probably seen my other video of the frames that I picked up last time that I purchased from them. If not, I'll link it in this video. But these glasses are like... I don't even know how to explain them. It's like the creme de la creme of shades that are affordable except high quality, if that makes any sense at all. So I explained in my other video, but I am obsessed with Ray-Bans. Like my regular glasses, my, my Sears are Ray-Bans and I wanted Ray-Bans from before I ordered these frames ever. I was going to buy them. They were like $250. And then I realized like, who do I think I am? Like, who do who makes this money? Because I don't make enough money to be doing something like that. So I tried to look for cheaper alternatives. And I watch Crispy. I watch Luster Lux. And I watch Desi Perkins here on YouTube. And they always are rocking Key Australia sunglasses. So, of course, when Crispy came out with these, I knew I was going to have to get them. And I will be getting the Desi Perkins one, finger crossed, because... I was freaking out when I went to order these because the internet was acting all sorts of crazy. I had to like reload the page. I'd put stuff in my shopping cart and it wouldn't work just because so many people were online trying to order these. Like I was like, it ain't Kylie Jenner lipsticks here. Like why is it freaking out? But I ended up being able to pick up three pairs and the only reason that I did not get uh, the third pair, I believe they're called Mila, is because... In my other video, I purchased On the Prowl, and I personally am not a fan of tortoise. My regular Sears are tortoise shell, like they're tortoise shell in color, and I'm cool with that for like that, but for sunglasses, I'm just, I'm not a fan. So when she said that those were a mixture of like two frames put together, they legit were, like they legit were. So the first ones that I'm going to be showing, one, all of them come in this color of a case. These ones are black, and you can't tell with this lighting. I'm freaking sorry because I couldn't record with natural lighting, but the front of them are kind of like a peachy, like a rose gold reflective color, but these say Key Crispy on the inside. Chia. They say Key Crispy. And then I like the sides because it is reflective, but it does suck because it shows your finger. Like, as soon as you touch them, it shows your fingerprints. So, these are called Jet Lag, and she was not kidding. They were hard to put on because of my bandana, but she was not kidding when she said they were oversized. Honestly, I feel that these are the same size as on the Prowl, but... The shape is so much better if you have a big head. So my last video, people that wanted to know stuff about On The Prowl, the main question that I got about those and Vivian was, do they rest on your cheeks? Because, girl, I got a big head. And when I smile, these cheeks be up, up in the air. So both of those other frames, it rests right there. And it literally takes my makeup off right there. So the only time I wear those is when I'm not wearing makeup. These do not. I can smile. They're not touching. It's not touching at all. Like, I would pick these over on the prowl, and I have a big head. And to find frames that are circular in shape when you have a big head is just really difficult. Like, they usually always look too small. I almost didn't order these because I was scared of that, but you got a big head, you're fine with these shades. And if you have big cheeks, like, it works. They're precious, and I love them. So the one thing that I do notice, though, with those shades, like, if I had to say a negative, and that's with any of their shades that do not have nose pads, your makeup is going to rub off on the inside. Like, whoop, there it is. Like, it's going to rub off. There's literally nothing you can do about it. So the other two frames that I got do have nose pads on them. And they both come in the same package. These are both the same frame, but they're in different colors. So all in total, there were four frames that you could have picked up. So this is like the rose colored, like rose gold ones. The lens is a very, it's almost like brown. 
And once again, because of my lighting, it's not true to color. Um, it's almost like a brownish... I know it should be gold. I know it should be gold, but the outside frame is legit rose gold. Like, it is the exact same color as the rose gold iPhone. So, that's a comparison. So, I like that this part of it is actually black. On the inside, it does say Key Carispe, and then it says Gemini on the other side. So, this is Gemini pair number one. I was paranoid about these. With having a big head, I was paranoid that these weren't going to work for me. I thought they would be too small. But honestly, I don't think that it's possible with this brand. Like, the Key Australia brand, I don't think it's possible to get a too small pair of shades. And these feel very classy. Like, very high class. They feel comparable to the Ray-Bans that I originally wanted to get. Um, like... They feel more expensive than how much I paid for them. So I really like this pair. And the other pair that I picked up also say Key Crispy on the inside and Gemini on the other side. And this is just the solid black pair. And the lens, though, is not solid black. The lens on this frame and the lens on Jet Lag are pretty much the same lens in my opinion. I could be wrong, but to me they look exactly the same. So this lens is like the rose gold color. And that's the one thing that I, I don't want to say I was disappointed, but I was kind of surprised that Crispy's line is all the like reflective ones. Like the biggest reason that I didn't get Mila was because it was blue. And I'm not attracted to that that lens, like, when I got on the Prowl and the lens was reflective bluish silver, I was kind of bummed out. Like, it really prevents me from wearing them just because that's not me. Like, that's not my style. So, on the Prowl is coming out, they're coming out with a new, they're coming out with a new lens color, I've heard. So, we shall see about that. But this pair is black with a rosy gold reflective lens on him. So definitely the black is clearly my favorite for both of these. Both of the black pairs are. Uh, I just wear a lot of black lately. I dyed my hair black. Like I have a thing for that. So look forward in the future for another Key Australia Sunnies type of video on my channel because Later this month, I I have heard that Desi's line is coming out, and of course your girl, I don't even, even if there's a pair that I don't like, I feel like I love her so much that I'm probably going to get them all. But um, just so you guys know, the Key Crispy line was like in the 60, I believe they all, all the frames were 60 dollars or at least in that range. I think they're coming out like I said with On the Prowl, another color with On the Prowl, and I also believe that they are coming out with a gold. Like they've had this gold color before for the Vivian shades. I believe the Vivian shades and I'm obsessed with those. I wear those all the time because I can actually wear those with my uniform to work. So, yeah. Be prepared for more Key Australia videos. I, you guys should be proud of me for not saying Quay in this video. And yeah, that's all I have to say for you guys. Until next time, I guess I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.